Welcome to Electron Line. Here's another example of how to take the partial derivative. We have a rectangle. At the moment, the length is 15 meters, the width is 6 meters, represented by the variables x and y. Now, they do change because you can see the rate of change of x is equal to 3 meters per second, and the rate of change of y is equal to 2 meters per second. Of course, the area of the rectangle is x times y. What we're trying to do here is find the change of the area with respect to time, even though the area is a function of x and y. But in each case, x is a function of t and y is a function of t. y changes as, a fun as time and so does x. But it's only one variable, therefore we can find the derivative of a with respect to time. We don't have to find the partial derivative of a with respect to time. Now what is the equation again for that? Well, the equation is follows, and let me write over here, that the derivative of a with respect to time is equal to the partial derivative of a with respect to x times the derivative of x with respect to time plus the partial derivative of a with respect to y times the derivative of y with respect to time, dt. Now let's plug in what these are. So this is equal to, going back to a, the partial of a with respect to x, so therefore y is the constant, x is the variable, that gives us y times the change of x with respect to time, which that's equal to 3, we'll just leave out the units for now, plus the change of the partial of a, the partial derivative of a with respect to y, in this case y is the variable, x is the constant, so we get x times the change in y with respect to time, which is times 2. Again, I'm leaving off the units. Now we can plug in what y and x are at that very moment in time, because what we're trying to do here is we're trying to find the change in area with respect to time when x is 15 meters and y is 6 meters. So we plug those values in here. This is equal to, and let me write it like this, dA dt when x is equal to 15 and y is equal to 6 is equal to, and that's a better way to notate it, so y would then in this case be equal to 6, 6 times 3 plus x is 15 times 2. That would be 18 plus 30, 18 plus 30, which is equal to 48, and of course, the units would be meters squared per second. The area is changing by 48 meters squared per second. And that is how we use partial derivatives to come up with things that depend on variables, which themselves depend upon another variable like that. And that's how it's done.